Samadhi and Dhyana, that is the Patanjali's important idea. Dhyana and Samadhi, the mental process is same. Same in Samadhi also, the mind does not become still. In Samadhi also, the mind moves, rises and falls. The same person, and there are in Samadhi also, the same person, suppose you are meditating on the image of Jesus. In Dhyana, the same Bhutti rises and falls, you see the image of Jesus. Then in Samadhi, when you enter the Samadhi, then, then also the same uh, the, the image, right, the mind is rising, same Bhutti rises and falls, you see the same image of Jesus, but the difference is, in Samadhi, that image becomes luminous. In the Sama, in ordinary Dhyana, you see it only like a ordinary film, if you see an ordinary film in the, in a, what is called, digital camera and all, if you see an ordinary film, it, you can see the image, but it is not bright. The difference is that Dhyana and Samadhi, di fatto, secondo Patanjali, sono lo stesso processo. La mente non smette mai di creare dritti anche nel Samadhi. L'unica differenza tra Diana e Samadhi è che nel Samadhi l'immagine e il contenuto, supponendo per esempio che si mediti sull'immagine di Gesù, l'immagine invece di essere piatta come quella di un film diventa luminosa. That is what is shown here. Ed è quello che viene mostrato lì nel grafico. Actually, it is the, the picture is wrong, actually. So there should be there. This somebody later on omitted this. The actual picture should be... C'è di fatto un piccolo errore in quel disegno lì, dove c'è una sola gritti, ovviamente ci dovrebbero essere tutte e tre. The original picture is in North, which I have given. Here also in Dhyana, you find the same Vritti rises and falls, but the Pratyar does not change. Vediamo qui in Dhyana che appunto le Vritti continuano a salire e scendere senza cambiare il Pratyar. 
in samadhi also the same prati rises and falls. The prati doesn't change. This is almost same. The difference is this prati is pure, pure subtle prati, sukshma subtle prati, whereas this one is gross prati. And because this prati is very pure and subtle, it reflects the purusha, the light of the purusha. So we see the images brilliant, dazzling. Yeah. La differenza del Samadhi è che rispetto alla posizione precedente, le dritti qui sono pure e sottili. E quindi questa sottilezza per certi versi delle, delle dritti consente alla luce del, dell'Atman di illuminare il contenuto. We see the images effulgent, not only effulgent as it living, as if uh, God is sitting before us, but that is only, still it is only an image. E vediamo l'immagine come è fulgente, piena di luce, non soltanto è fulgente, ma un'immagine vivente, come se la Dio fosse lì presente come essere vivente. So this is the eighth limb of the Ashtanga Yoga. E questi sono gli otto membri degli Ashtanga Yoga. Ashtanga Yoga è sa inner, inner limbs, dharma, jhana, samadhi. Jhana is this. Now, Ashtanga Yoga, culminates, it ends in the Samadhi. This Samadhi, in Samadhi, the same Vritti rises and falls, the Pratyaya remains the same. But now the Pratyaya appears to be effulgent, luminous, full of light and brilliance. That the, uh, the, 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 actually that light is not God's light, it is our own Atman's light that is falling on the image. Ashtanga Yoga, l'immagine che vediamo rispetto alla meditazione, come è descritto prima, è un'immagine luminosa, fulgente, piena di luce. Ma questa luce che si vede nel Samadhi non è, la, non è una luce divina, non è la luce di Dio, è la luce del nostro stesso Atman che si riflette. This is the end of Ashtanga Yoga. E questa è la fine della Ashtanga Yoga. This Samadhi is known as Ashtanga Yoga Samadhi or <coughs> Kevada Samadhi Mantram, that is simple Samadhi, simple or preliminary Samadhi. E questa è la forma del Samadhi, potremmo dire semplice o preliminare, è la forma finale della Ashtanga Yoga Samadhi. Awakening, awakening of the Atman, awakening of 
the inner self, when that Atman awakens, that light falls on the Vritti and then the image of Sri Ramakrishna's portal which I have been meditating upon, it appears to be luminous. When the seat is made, when the event is meditated to Sri Ramakrishna, in the state of meditation of Dhyana, it is meditated on the image of the photography of Sri Ramakrishna, and the image is equal to the image nel Samadhi la stessa immagine rimane uguale perché si cambiano ma eh, viene illuminata da una luce questa luce non è la luce divina ma è la luce del nostro sé o atma che viene proiettato sulle dritti della mente e che la rende luminosa e fungente so this is, that is not the real Sri Ramakrishna ma non è il vero Sri Ramakrishna that is only the image, the photo of Sri Ramakrishna solo l'immagine but that now appears to be living and luminous però mi appare come vivente e luminoso many people without the guidance of the Guru when they are getting to this stage they think they have realized Sri Ramakrishna God they think they have realized the God himself e molte persone che raggiungono questo stato senza la guida di un Guru pensano di aver raggiunto Dio o la divinità So Ashtanga Yoga can give you only up to this shape image. You see the shape image only, but that appears to be luminous. That is, that is actually you are discovering your own Atman. That's all. Ashtanga Yoga. Ashtanga Yoga può portarci soltanto fino a questo stadio. Parlavo prima di un risveglio dell'Atman. È come se l'Atman si risvegliasse e proiettando la propria luce crea questa immagine del mio E l'Ashtanga Yoga può portarci fino a questo stadio. In fact, Patanjali himself says, Prasthet Chaitana Abhidhamma. Abhidhamma. That is, that is, through this meditation, you understand, you realize, Prasthet Chaitana means inner self. You realize, in the, it is not the real Sri Ramakrishna, you don't realize. You see only the picture. And but what happens is, you are now, your Atman has awakened. That light falls on the to be, and that's why the Atma appears to be luminous. So in the, uh, the Sutra di Patanjali dice che eh, in questo stato c'è un Pratyaya uh, Chaitanya che significa la scoperta del proprio sé. Quindi a questo stadio non si, scop non si scopre il divino, ma si scopre il proprio sé, cioè una sorta di risveglio al sé individuale. In Christian mysticism also these stages are there. Anche nel, nel misticismo cristiano abbiamo questi stessi stati. In Christian mysticism, for instance, if you read uh, Graces of Interior Prayer by Poland, Poland's a wonderful book, famous book, is all the details of different stages in prayer, samadhi, what we call samadhi, they don't use the word samadhi, but the corresponding terms are there. Samadhi, so everything is called prayer in in the Christianity, Christian mysticism. So there, the Pulang and other, the separately, there's a Pulang, one chapter is there about spiritual experience that has been separately printed in a book form also that I have got. Anyway, if you study Christian mysticism, they speak of the actually four types of vision, four, four types of spiritual experience. Le stesse esperienze, anche con altri nomi diversi, si trovano anche nella tradizione dei mistici cristiani. Fai riferimento a un libro che non ho capito, però poi. Uh, the graces of interior prayer. La grazia della preghiera interiore. Pulen, 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 quattro livelli che si possono ottenere attraverso la pratica spirituale di quella preghiera.
that is a different thing. To make you understand that the difference between Ashtanga Yoga Samadhi and Sampragnata Yoga, Sampragnata Yoga is. Sto pensando alla parola di io per farvi comprendere di fatto lo scopo di Patanjali non è quello della visione o realizzazione di Dio. Ashtanga Yoga will lead you to Samadhi Mantam. Eighty, eighty link. That's all. Me. To see what it means. L'Ashtanga Yoga ci fa capire il soltanto uno stato di Samadhi Mantam. Just to clarify, I'm using the word God. Patanjali does not speak about God realization to make you simple, simplify and make you understand. Here, Ashtanga Samprajnata Yoga will give you the the realization of God as He is. This is only image. Samadhi Samadhi vi darà l'idea di Dio veramente come è, ma Patanjali non utilizza il termine Dio. It is only image of God you get. But here, quindi nello stadio precedente si aveva un'immagine di Dio. The realization of God as He is in all His divine splendor. Lì è la realizzazione di Dio, proprio esattamente come è nel suo splendore divino. In all His divine glory. In la sua gloria divina. So this, the the seeing God with all in all His divine glory. In Christian mysticism, this is known as, I told you, the other one is, this is Lumen Sapienti. This one is known as Lumen Glory. E nella tradizione cristiana, questo stadio corrisponde a Lumen Gloria. This is known as Beatific Vision. So, è la visione beatifica. So, beatific vision is corresponds to Sampragnata. Sampragnata Samadhi, you can say. It corresponds to Sampragnata Samadhi. Where Samadhi Matra, Matranga Yoga Samadhi, that corresponds to human sapienti. Sampragnata Yoga corresponds to human glory. But there are Christian mysticals of it, and books, if you read, you'll find this is given only to very, very Jew people. Human glory, according to them, only St. Paul, Virgin Mary, and uh, no, 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 Teresa. The, according to Jesuits, Jesuits, they claim Loyola had that. But Francis, then, Francis of Assisi definitely must have had. He was not a last tradition in this That place, that place, that place, that place, that place, that place, Francis of Assisi, where he was there for about three months or so alone. He didn't allow anyone to go. Only a deal, or somebody was allowed or asked to keep God outside. And that time he got a stigma drug, stigma drug. So he must have got the human glory. Solo pochi possono ottenere questo stadio. Nella tradizione della mistica cristiana si dice che San Paolo, la Vergine e probabilmente San Francesco del Sisi quando ha ricevuto le stigmate hanno raggiunto questo stadio. According to Jesus' play, when Loyola, Jesus Loyola was in that cave in Spain, what is that place called? in Spain, in a cave, 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 in a
you might have God just remain glory. Otherwise, there is a doubt whether Moses, Moses really had that because Moses went to the the Sinai, 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 there the, the, the Mount Sinai, and there the, the God that, uh, but the, according to the, the, the Jewish tradition itself denies. Moses didn't see God face to face. Only he heard only the commandments. That's anyway, this is very rare. In the like Sri Ram Krishna, you can see when he talked about godliness and all that, he meant to this human glory. This is what is meant by the godliness. In Swami Vivekananda's work, you know, to have read, you see in the <coughs> Swamiji had in Kashmir, a place called Kashmir, Sri Bhavani Temple. There, when he was there, he had a vision of the Divine Mother. And uh, Swamiji felt unconscious. This is so powerful. This human glory, this uh, Samprakyata, the high vision, it is so powerful, people become uh, unconscious. They fall down. So that is your frightening. Yes. So that is the, that is not for all, all people don't get. What people call God-realization vision, I have got to listen that, it's all mostly distorted. Different stages of human safety and pain. Samadhi mantra, that itself only most of the people get. And uh, even to get that, it's a great achievement. <coughs> there, even though you don't realize Paramatma, the Supreme Self, you realize your own Atma. That awakening of the Atman takes place. For the, for the, this inner self. For the person that has given up with those stats of precedent, the human sapient, to be very far on the realization of the human real stats, which you made the number of the Sri Ramakrishna. Sembra di aver assunto questo stadio mentre meditava in una grotta del Kashmir e ha perso completamente i sensi. Il suo amico dice anche la paura di questo stadio, di questa percezione. E perché in realtà cioè, quello che si realizza nel primo stadio del Samadhi Matra è la realizzazione dell'Atman, non, non è il Paramatma per la realizzazione del Supremo. E... Ramanuja, the uh, saint uh, teacher in South Indian, the sister of Dvaita, he popularized. According to him, there are three stages in, uh, not only according to him, according to all the, all the traditions, Hindu, Muslim, Buddha, Christian, in all these traditions you will find first comes purification, then comes illumination. First is purgation, illumination, union. First is purgation means purification. Then illumination means illumination of the Atman, realizing the Atman. So Ramanuja, according to Ramanuja, first Sita should be purity of mind. Then Guadalajara Ramanuja, 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 Ram Jesus, then we hope that what do, what do we expect 
we expect that God will appear before us. Either Sri Ramakrishna or Jesus or on whom we meditate, he will appear before us. So we are che ci sia un'apparizione di Dio sotto questa forma che appaia davanti a noi. We are looking at this end, but actually what happens is it is not here. This I, I will change, I will disappear in I's place. In realtà quello che avviene non è questo, avviene il contrario. L'immagine rimane e non appare, ma scompare Dio. The Atman appears. E appare l'Atman. I goes and the Atman appears and this Atman's light will fall on me. E questo è il Dio che appare l'Atman e questo Atman è in grado di illuminare. This Atman's light will fall on the image and the image will be the image. Ed è l'Atman che proietta la luce che illumina questa immagine. This is Atranga Yoga Samadhi, that there the image remains the same, it is illumined by the light of the Atman. Atman awakens, you realize that you are an Atman. But go beyond the eye. So Samadhi Mantra is not a joke. Simply by Jnana, if you go on meditating, Jnana will not automatically will not lead to Samadhi. It means Samadhi Mantra. Ci si arriva automaticamente perché si medita o si è in meditazione. There is an awakening, the Atman must awaken. Between these two, there is what is called a thought barrier. C'è, ci deve essere un risveglio dell'Atman. Quindi tra i due, tra lo stadio di Diana e quello di Samadhi Nata. There is a thought barrier. It is like the sound barrier. C'è la barriera del pensiero, un po' come esiste la barriera del suono. Those who know about therapeutic simple things, I remember some 50 years ago, <coughs> the supersonic planes were not there. The out of the at that time news came, the sound barrier has been broken. The auditory plane, auditory plane can, cannot cross, go beyond the speed of sound. If it is tries, auditory plane tries to, to, to break or to, to cross the sound barrier, sound is only a feeble thing. And yet, auditory plane cannot cross the sound barrier. To cross the sound barrier, the plane must be specially constructed. Supersonic planes are there, separate planes are constructed. Soltanto 50 anni fa eh, gli aeroplani non potevano superare la barriera del suono. È stato necessario costruire degli aerei supersonici, quindi costruire in maniera specifica, per poter superarla. The same way, ordinary mind cannot cross this sound barrier, the thought barrier. E allo stesso modo la mente ordinaria non può superare la barriera del pensiero. Thoughts are very feeble. You can think any thought you like, and yet you cannot go beyond thoughts. I pensieri sono molto deboli, potete pensare con quei cosa. So many thoughts come to our mind, free. Tuttavia non si può stare con i pensieri. But you can't go beyond thoughts. If you want to go beyond thoughts, like some thought barrier if you want to go across. Or just like the supersonic jet, specially constructed, you have to reconstruct your mind proprio come un aereo, un jet supersonico deve essere costruito, bisogna ricostruire la propria mente per poter superare questa barriera del pensiero. Il mind must be purified and disciplined. Such a mind, such a mind only can cross the thought barrier. Such a mind only can cross the thought barrier. So this Samadhi Matram is not a simple thing. You can either to take this, you have to cross the thought barrier. To undergo purification and intense concentration is necessary, but there is no other. To superare questo livello ci vuole un'intensa purificazione, un'intensa concentrazione. Non è una cosa semplice che avviene automaticamente. Ci 
vale gran parte de disciplina. But there is one easier one, an alternative method is strength. And that is divine grace. Però c'è un aiuto sostanziale che può arrivare ed è la grazia divina. Divine grace can break the thought barrier and reveal just the glimpse one can get the divine grace. So the grace of God, even without the, before you attain the capacity to break the thought barrier, go beyond thought barrier, through divine grace you can get a glimpse of this at this stage, at least your own often you can realize. Eh, anche soltanto in un attimo, eh, se questa situazione è così difficile, con la grazia divina può essere spezzata questa barriera del pensiero. Mentre è estremamente difficoltoso eh, da soli superarlo. Then this is not the goal. In the advanced studies of the human glory, or compassion of the God has in this, what happens? The image disappears. This image which you have been meditating upon, this image disappears. In the place of the image, the glorious form of the Lord appears. Allora, anche questa immagine su cui si medita scompare e al posto di questa immagine appare la gloria di Dio. The divine splendor, the glory, the God appears before you. And then what happens is, this often your individual self becomes drowned in that light. The reverse, the reverse light comes. So e allora, è come un processo inverso della luce, allora l'Atman personale, individuale, viene eh, attratto, viene inglobato in questa luce. Here, the Samadhi Matra, the Atman is the prominent thing. This is only image. Here, it is just the reverse. God, when God appears with all the divine splendor and the, uh, the infinite bright, the infinite light, then the Atman disappears. Atman doesn't have no existence at all. It becomes insignificant. It is just the reverse. This is practically wrong. Nel primo caso è l'Atman che illumina, quindi è un processo attivo dell'Atman. Nel secondo caso, quando la luce completa del divino, la gloria completa del divino appare, l'Atman scompare. Non ha più significato e importanza. This is Lumen Glory. When Lumen Glory comes, I disappear. So this is the basic difference. So we have been, so the, today's the topic, this, this Samadhi, this, the, the, the second chapter, this takes you only up to this Samadhi Mantra. Il secondo capitolo vi può portare soltanto a quello stadio di Samadhi Mantra. Then further, the Sampratyanda Yoga, Sampratyata Samadhi, that is human glory in all that, these are dealt with in the first two chapters. E invece, the first two chapters are explained in the first chapter. The first chapter is entirely devoted to Samadhi. Sampratyata Samadhi and what is called Asampratyata Samadhi, that is why I am coming to that, because that our, our discussion comes to an end. So, Patanjali, This is what uh, is common to Patanjali and Vedanta. Though Patanjali doesn't use the word God, Sampratyata Samadhi corresponds to the vision, the realization of God, personal God in Vedanta, we can say that. So the, when you say God realization, what is meant is going beyond image and seeing the God in his divine splendor. It is given glory, the glorious vision, the, what is called beatific vision. That is the goal of, of the spiritual life. But Patanjali, this is what Vedanta or uh, everything holds. But Patanjali, suddenly he changes the whole thing. Patanjali, up to this, he takes you. And then Patanjali says, this is not enough, this is not the uh, 
to Vedanta Mukti, this is the cause, this is bondage. Prakriti, 
Their Purusha and Prabhupada is coming to their union. Union is the cause of bondage. This is bondage. E quando Purusha e Prabhupada sono insieme, uniti, che diventa causa di schiavitù. Vedanta, according to Vedanta, the separation of the individual self from supreme self that is the cause of bondage. Liberation of Mukti is the union of the individual self in with uh, the Brahman or Paramatma. According to Patanjali, it is just the opposite. Union of the Purusha and Prakriti, that is the cause of bondage, union. Bondage is union. Then what is liberation according to Patanjali? Patanjali liberation is the separation of these two. Purusha and Prakriti are separated. Mukti or Kaitajya is the separation of Purusha. La liberazione o Kaitajya sarà la separazione. Here, Kaivilya is the separation of Purusha and the Purusha. Quindi, la liberazione o Kaivalya è la separazione tra Purusha e Prati. So, now, according to Patanjali, the Sampraknata Sanati, in which you see the light, that Sampraknata knowledge is not enough to lead to the separation. That knowledge must be suppressed. The Sampraknata gives you the highest knowledge of Purusha and Prakriti. So according to Patanjali, that highest knowledge cannot be due to the separation. For the separation, this knowledge must be suppressed. So then at the last stage of Samadhi comes, that is known as Atam Prakriti Samadhi. Secondo Patanjali, la realizzazione del Sampraknata il Samprajnata Samadhi eh, non porta alla liberazione perché dà l'illuminazione dalla conoscenza di Purusha e Prakti, ma non ancora alla loro separazione. Per ottenere questo bisogna passare ad un altro stadio che è a Samprajnata Samadhi. At least one day, more to the separatists. Per poi avere la conoscenza approfondita di questo stadio di Sampraggianta Samadhi non bastano, perché ci vorrebbero almeno altri, altri sono tre giorni per parlarne. Now to sum up, the first chapter deals with the second chapter that the Vedisa four stages. First, Priyayo. Priyayo, the second step is per riassumere il secondo capitolo fa Kriya Yoga, poi della Shtanga Yoga Third is Samprajnata Yoga e il terzo è il Samprajnata Yoga Fourth is Asamprajnata Yoga e il quarto è la Samprajnata Yoga Kriya Yoga e la Shtanga Yoga ma discussed in the second chapter Kriya Yoga e la Shtanga Yoga sono discussi Sampratnyata Yoga e Asampratnyata Yoga sono discussi in questo primo capitolo. E Sampratnyata Yoga e Asampratnyata Yoga sono discussi nel primo capitolo. Quindi questo è il 
questo è il garantire ed è quello che viene assunto nel grafico flexa di via yoga e di campagna che ti dice come big and then astanga yoga means astanga yoga means you do samadhi mantra and then it's also the Ravinara Samadhi Mantra then that comes leads to Sampraknyata Yoga Sampraknyata culminates in what is called Viveka Khyati and Viveka Khyati means life burns and then the place of the world burns then the world receives it so Viveka Khyati is the same as the equation the life of the place of the Viveka Khyati is the Sampraknyata Samadhi the Sampraknyata Samadhi will be to get that life which burns the place of the world and it's all about the level of the Sampraknyata Yoga no it only burns the place of the world the uh, and that is that two stages the region and the region some problems. After this Purusha and Pratiti still remain there. And here, after attaining Vivaka Chati, you know that you are the Purusha, the Pratiti are different. But still Purusha and Pratiti continue to be there. Then how to separate? That is how the Vivaka Chati, the highest state knowledge must be suppressed. You have to give up the highest knowledge, whereas in Vedanta, Vedikarta Samadhi, this is the highest Dharmatnyana. But Patanjali says that Dharmatnyana must be given up. And that is what is called Asampratnyana. So Asampratnyana and Vedikarta are totally different concepts. Very often people use it as synonymous. Asampratnyana and Vedikarta are as synonymous. Yeah, some Pratyata is totally different. You really can't be used to open the one of these. Yes, but that's all. Then you can. Then you can. Then you can. You have to chat here. You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. You have to give up. You have to chat here. Gives up all knowledge, 
and then there's the asampranyata state, the mind will stop. Then, if the mind, mind stops, then it has no more function. Then the mind disintegrates. The body also will disintegrate. As Sri Ramakrishna used to say, when a yogi attains real samadhi, that is this kind of ultimate asampranyata state, the body will remain only 21 days. So, Asambhajnata Samadhi is the final. The yogi will not come back. Ordinary Asambhajnata Samadhi, after attaining that, we can come back to the world again. So, Vithanam is coming down. Vithanam is coming down. So, we can come back to Samadhi Asambhajnata quindi fino a Savicia eh, a San Bernardo lo Yogi può ritornare alla vita terrena, dopo quella lo stadio non lo sì, sì. Adesso. What does, what does mean Samicia di Uttana? Coming down. Okay. Quindi venire giù di indietro, tornare indietro. Il canale mi dice che è un samadhi. Coming, coming down from samadhi. Ah, ok. Nana vuol dire ritornare dal Samadhi. No, quindi è uno stadio dal quale si può ritornare e dall'altro. No? No. E ritornare alla coscienza normale. That is possible only actually it is not there, I mean there must be something wrong. Something wrong. Uttara cannot come there. It should be before Savija. Before Savija uh, Samprasnata. It should come. Anyway. <laughs> It is possible because that's so many language is in our favor it is right. No, no, I just don't know if I'm sbagliando the idea of the idea. La pregina dovrebbe essere di lato con la massa sabigia. It's not a small possibility. It's confusion there. I don't know how it came. It's just a day. It is a job which I have lost, which I have given you. There, the money is not there. That is correct. That is correct. That is what I do. Yes. That is what I do. 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 That is correct. This one, somebody has to do. Yes, we come to a certain degree. Yes. 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 Or beyond this, uh, it's not possible to discuss Asambhatna and Nauru. <laughs> <laughs> so we saw... Next year. Next year. Four, four stages in yoga, Kriya Yoga and uh, Ashtanga Yoga. Kriya Yoga is for purification. Ashtanga Yoga is to manipulate your, realize your own Atman or Purusha Atman only. Then beyond that, we want to realize God the ultimate reality, we are going to the third type of yoga, that is Samprakhyanga yoga. Allora abbiamo visto il Kriya yoga che serve alla purificazione, il Astanga yoga che serve appunto a risvegliare la luce dell'Atman, se si vuole andare oltre però bisogna andare al Samprakhyanga yoga. Samprakhyanga, if you want to go beyond Atman and to know the ultimate reality, we have to go to Samprakhyanta Samadhi. Se vogliamo andare verso Dio, superare l'atma e andare verso la realtà ultima, bisogna accedere al Samprakhyanta Samadhi. According to Patanjali, this highest knowledge itself is a bondage. Secondo Patanjali, questa conoscenza elevata è essa stessa una schiavitù. 
which cannot give you vritti, to give get vritti, you have even the highest knowledge you have to suppress. Non può dare la mutti, quindi per accedere alla vera finale conoscenza, anche questa conoscenza alta deve essere soppressa. Then we come to the state. Then there is no experience at all. That is asapalna the state. So that is about nothing really, that is the end of the very style of your vritti. The first thing to yoga, that is greatest, that is Kriya yoga, and Ashtanga yoga are discussed in the second chapter. Samprajnata Yoga and Samprajnata Yoga, these are discussed in the first two chapters. Then two more chapters are there, which I will touch. The third chapter is devoted to psychic powers. Psychic powers, you can get various. Often they speak about various different types of psychic powers that are not discussed. We have not discussed in that. So this is the uh, the, the, the fourth chapter on the Kaivalya Pada. It is actually the not a continuation. It is a kind of appendix. It is added. Certain topics which are not discussed in the first three chapters are discussed in the fourth chapter. That fourth chapter is only accurate half. All the three chapters are average about 50 sutras are there. Whereas the last chapter is only about 30 or 35 sutras. It is a kind of appendix added later on. Il quarto capitolo, che è il Calvaria, 